This will be a little bit of an unusual post for my channel, but I just thought I'd throw it on there. Um, today's my first day out diving this year, and I'm going to go look for some seahorses out here in the Chesapeake Bay of uh, Virginia. And um, I just thought it would be interesting for certain people out there, like Claire and other people who, you know, really dig on uh, geology and also uh, uh, astrophysics and what have you. But um, here, here's the poop. Um, I'm basically over in Cape uh, Charles, Virginia, on the eastern shore of Virginia, and I'm kind of in the interior of an impact crater. Um, some some bolide, either it was a, a asteroid or a comet, uh, popped into our atmosphere. It kind of looked like this, I'm sure, just like this. And anyway, it, it plunged in to where I'm at right now. Uh, about 35 million years ago, and for all you creationists out there, that would be about 35 million years before uh, the Earth was created. Uh, just, just to let you know. And, and uh, anyway, um, it was during the, um, what was it, the uh, Eocene Epoch, I believe. Uh, but anyway, um, again, about 35 million years ago, uh, a comet or an asteroid plunged into where I'm now standing. And uh, the diameter of this uh, crater is enormous. It's about 53 miles in diameter. Um, but of course, since it's on the Chesapeake Bay, there are no remnants of this whatsoever, unless you go geolot or, <laughs> I'm sorry, drinking beer today. My day off. <laughs> Unless you want to go <laughs> geology style and dig deep. And as a matter of fact, that's how they found this crater. I think they were trying to do some exploratory kind of things for oil um, kind, of, kind of stuff. Anywho, they found this crater, I think about, I'm going to take a stab, about 30 years ago-ish. And it was verified. And basically where I'm standing now, just imagine that if you were to, like, if there was like a, a bridge going right over the deepest part of the Grand Canyon... The remnants of this crater uh, and the impact site are literally as deep as the deepest part of the Grand Canyon. So it definitely took a lot of uh, drilling and geological surveys to find find it. So anywho, I just want to share that with everybody. Again, this is not really my style for doing vids, but just thought I'd share it. I'm really excited about getting into the water for, for, for the first time. And hopefully I'll get some seahorses. And again, anybody interested, just look up Chesapeake Bay Impact Crater. And you'll see basically where I'm at. And you'll get a lot of information out of it. So uh, I guess I will leave it at that. And of course I couldn't leave off the epilogue to this video. Which is that I did catch seahorses. Usually I, I catch more than this. But this is what I catch. And they're right here. Let's see if I can get him in here. There he is. I only caught five, uh, but there's one. And there's another one in the back there. You can kind of see him right there. I have to do a real quick buzz over here. There's another one back here. And then if you look really close, you'll see one right in there. Should be right in the middle. And then there's one other one in here somewhere. But I couldn't end this video without showing those guys. So I will uh, leave it at that.